Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is the fourth Science of Digestion meeting that CORE has uh, hosted, and we're very pleased to be doing this together with the British Digestive Research Foundation. I'm Chris Hawkey, and I'm Professor of Gastroenterology in Nottingham, and I'm also the Chair of CORE. So this evening is about three things. Bowel cancer screening, very important thing for people to do. Irritable bowel syndrome, very a common condition, and diverticular disease, also very common and cause a lot of misery for a lot of people. We know people are interested in these conditions, but we also had a bit of an experiment this time where we made the audience do some work. We want you to tell us what the most important research should be done uh, by uh, medical professions on your behalf. We're taking it to you to decide what is important, how we should measure things and what we should do with it. And this has never been done before. This is your opportunity to uh, guide funding for research where the experts are going to be focusing their time. It's your thoughts that matter, you are the experts. We can't put words into your mouth. I thought the audience responded magnificently to these really quite difficult questions. We'll be putting those results together in the next few days and uh, showing hopefully where we should be putting our resources. I think it's absolutely key. There's no point in researching things that don't actually matter to patients. We definitely need to be thinking differently about, about the way we do research and involve patients more and more and we're hoping that this process will lead the way in that. There's 40,000 new diagnoses made each year and 16,000 people will die of bowel cancer each year. My name is Roisin Bevan, I'm a gastroenterology uh, senior registrar in the northeast of England and uh, I was here today to talk about bowel cancer screening. How does screening save lives? The idea is if you pick these up early you can often cure them, whereas if they present later they're often at an incurable stage. Bowel cancer screening is a fairly new development in the last few years and it's got lots of potential to change people's lives and from it there's a massive resource of data that has come from all the different people that we've screened that we can use to, to A, find out more about bowel cancer and how it develops and how we can stop it, but also about all things to do with how we perform colonoscopies and other bowel diseases in terms of picking things up before they're detected. So 26 million invitations have been sent out to take part in screening and about 16 million kits have been returned and tested. About 2% of people will have blood found in their motions. And at the minute, the current rate is 7.5% will have a cancer detected. Now, in real numbers, that's 20, about just over 22,000 people will have, have had cancers detected within the programme. This is a precursor lesion, completely benign, which has been got rid of, and that will now no longer develop into uh, bowel cancer. So we're hopefully preventing more cancers developing now with the new bowel scope programmes that we're taking away the precursor polyps earlier and then we're detecting bowel cancers earlier so that we can give people a better treatment to maintain their survival. I think people are really interested and I think people are really sort of taking control of what, what they do with their symptoms and, and you know we've had a chat with somebody about how he's not come to the screening before but he'll definitely think about doing it in the future so if we can improve people's uptake of it and the people here can go away and tell their friends that screening is good then, then that's definitely been useful. It's really important for them to know why we do things and how it can help them. My name is Anthony Manuel. I'm a neurogastroenterologist at UCH in London. Most of you are here, I suspect, because you have an interest in knowing a little bit about the gut from a personal or from a family point of view. And the conditions you've heard about will affect some of us. If we all live till 80, everyone in the middle part of this room will get diverticular disease by law of averages. These are enormously common conditions. They account for a huge burden on the health service, but even more so a huge burden for sufferers that doctors are, and myself included, are blind to. I really believe one of the problems we've had is that charities have tended to tell patients what we think is best and I think a really key issue for CORE is to try and move into this idea of saying we need to hear what people want whether it does a research but as well in clinical practice what are they missing from their doctors and nurses when they see people and what spaces can we fill in to help them. I'd like people to take away one thing and that is to keep a diary before you see a doctor for the first time and then when you go there to have a very clear in your mind, idea in your mind of what you're coming out with. Are you being advised about diet? Are you being advised about a new drug? And if so, how likely is it to work and what is plan B? The bit I enjoy most is still a bit interacting with patients and the bit at the end of a session where you actually get to talk to people is still the best part for me. I hope people will take away from this evening uh, the fact that we're out there researching for them and that uh, they have support and I hope they will understand their symptoms better than they did before they came in. Mm -hmm.